rough. Okay, guys. So let's get into the uh, SPI. Um, uh, let's get into the data sheet or the reference manual rather, and uh, start uh, seeing what it's gonna tell us about the uh, SPI peripheral that's in there, and uh, see what I can help you guys understand. First things first, it's letting us know that it supports this I2S audio protocol, which I admit I don't know anything about, so I won't be covering that um, yet at least. Perhaps when I do um, use it or need it or something, I'll, I'll go ahead and try to learn that. Um, it's telling us that the um, SPI supports full duplex, half duplex, and simplex uh, synchronous transfers. Now, what exactly does all of that mean? So first, I guess we can start off by looking at a very generic uh, diagram here of the uh, SPI interface. What you'll see is that you have a master out, slave in, uh, master in, slave out, a clock, a slave select, sometimes called chip select. Now, these are the four lines uh, that's required by the protocol. And you can think of the master out slave in uh, as a TX on this side and an RX on this side. So it's transmitting and then this side is receiving. Likewise, you can think of the master in slave out as a sort of uh, transmission happening on this side, on the slave side, being transmitted to the, uh, to the master. Obviously, the clock um, just synchronizes the data transfers. And the um, slave select is used to select which slave because this is a very basic uh, diagram. You can actually have multiple slaves uh, and multiple masters. So the way you select, let's say you have more than one slave here, um, how would you know which one it's talking to? Well, you would have multiple slave select lines and each one of those slave select lines would go to a different slave and you would use that line. You drive it low when you want to select that slave as the uh, the listener for your for your message right okay so what is um, half duplex full duplex and simplex well full duplex um, it, it's almost like what it's what you have going on here you have two data lines right and there's transmission as you can see transmission going on and there's also reception so there's RX and TX going on on this side on this side, there's also RX and um, RX and TX going on. So there's a re um, reception and transmission going on on both sides, and there's two data lines to do that. So that's full duplex. <coughs> In this case, duplex means that you're um, receiving and transmitting, and by full means that there's um, two lines. Half duplex um, is uh, here's duplex again. Oh yeah, and simultaneously. Obviously, you can simultaneously receive and uh, transmit data. Half duplex is um, basically still duplex, which means you're receiving and transmitting. However, there's only one line, so you have to take turns. You can't be transmitting at the same time that this one is transmitting. No. So one has to be transmitting, the other one has to be receiving. It doesn't matter if it's this one or this one. Um, you know what I mean? But you take turns. So if this one wants to say something, it will transmit. This one will listen. And then this one will want to transmit later. Then this one will transmit. And then this one will listen. So there's both um, RX and TX. But you have to take turns because you're sharing the same line. So that's half duplex. Now what is simplex? Um, Simplex, I can explain by actually showing you here my RGB LEDs. Um, what you've got going on here, and I'll use one of these F1s for an example. I can set up the F1 to as SPI, simplex mode, transmitter mode, um, transmit only, um, to send data to these RGB LEDs to tell them what color uh, they need to be, which ones to turn on, just like I'm doing it right now. Now the LEDs, they're not gonna reply. They're not gonna say anything. They're not gonna acknowledge. There's gonna be no data going from the LEDs back to the chip. So that's why there's only one line and the data is only going in one direction. There's no receiving and transmitting. There's just transmitting on this side. Yeah, this side's receiving. But what I mean to say is there's, there's only one way the data is going. The data is never gonna come this way. And that's what simplex is. 
is when you have one one line and data will only go in one direction um whether you're a slave or a master it doesn't matter which direction it goes the point is it's never going to change um and that's that's basically simplex mode and that's how i'm going to um use those leds so i hope that um explains that uh the next video we'll look into uh, what else the data sheet has to say and uh, then we'll go ahead and, and, and tackle those topics.